Greetings and thank you for this wonderful opportunity to spend a few moments with you today. Trust that you are doing well. You're continuing to journey strong in your walk with God and in every other thing that you're engaged in in life. This week, we are reminding ourselves of this wonderful work of the Holy Spirit, the ability He gives us to speak with tongues. And uh, I just want to remind us as believers that this gift uh, the Bible talks about of being able to speak with tongues, of uh, pray in tongues, is something available to every believer. Now, some people don't agree with that theologically, and they argue with it and try to dispute it, but you know, both from, from the scriptures and from experience, I can say with that most confidence that every believer can speak with tongues. Scripturally, you see in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit was poured out, and uh, the 120 in the upper room began to speak in tongues, and Peter stands up and he preaches that first gospel message to the people who've come around to see what's going on. In, in the course of his message, Peter says this in Acts chapter 2, verses 38 and 39. He says, he tells his audience, Repent and uh, let every one of you be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call. Now think about what Peter is saying. He's talking to his audience and he's saying, look, you believe in Jesus Christ, you turn to Christ, you'll, you'll have your sins forgiven, and you will also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Meaning, he's simply, to put it in simple words, he's saying, you will receive what we've just received. And then he goes on to say, this promise is to as many as the Lord our God will call. That means it's to all believers. So just these two verses is sufficient to prove that the gift of the Holy Spirit, this entire experience of what happened there on the day of Pentecost, of, of being baptized in the Holy Spirit and praying with other tongues, is for every believer. It's for you. All you've got to do, and I've seen this happen hundreds of times, is just pray. Say, Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on me. Help me to speak in tongues. Lay aside every doubt, every fear, every argument opposing the truth. And just say, Lord, I want to speak in tongues. I started speaking in tongues as a 13-year-old and been praying in tongues ever since. And I've seen many others, both young children, young people, elderly, receive this wonderful gift and pray in tongues. And you can. You can do it right now. Just pray and say, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Baptize me with the Holy Spirit and help me to pray, speak with other tongues. And it will happen. Just open your mouth and speak the words that come. Father, we thank you for your word and that this promise of the Holy Spirit is to as many as the Lord our God will call. And may those who are listening, God, if they've never spoken in tongues, today by your Spirit, may heavenly languages come forth. May they speak and pray in other tongues. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.